Hey everyone, Porterhouse here, and today I have a fun little match for you. I'm going to be in my uh, Tiger 1 that I have nicknamed Ragnarok with its uh, mark of excellence on the barrel that I'm just going to stroke a little bit. Anyway, it's going to be on the airfield map, which is not one of my favorites to play in a heavy tank. Uh, all the heavies have a tendency to gravitate toward a certain position on that map, and uh, it can get pretty hairy, especially since there are multiple little hidey holes and lines of sight that people can pop out real quick and take a shot at you, so you got to be careful. Now, I'm not going to say anything more. I'm just going to let you all watch the match, and I hope you enjoy it. And we will be back after the match. All right, everyone, as I said in the intro, this is the airfield map, and I'm going to be going up the north side of the map with uh, the other heavies. Uh, actually, I'm kind of in the lead. There is a KV-2 and a VK-30 Heavy in the background that are going to be uh, following me here soon. So, uh, Now, this corner of the map uh, that I was talking about in the intro can be pretty hard to deal with in a heavy tank just because of multiple locations that you can be shot from. Now, uh, when we get up there, I'll show you what I'm talking about. And for some reason, I felt absolutely compelled to run over this military ambulance. So when you get up to this corner, and let me pause the game real quick as soon as I get to where I want to be. Okay, so I've paused the game now. you got to be careful from things uh, popping up around this corner. There is this corner over here, and then over in the uh, this section right here. Now, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. We put everything back in the game camera and we'll watch the match. Now, I was being kind of careful because I expected there to be already some enemy tanks right there. And the only thing I saw off the bat was this Chi Nu, and I thought I was going to go take a poke at him. And so I start rounding this corner, and immediately two tanks pop up, and one of them takes a chunk out of me, the KV-1S. So that's what I was talking about, about being careful. And then, of course, artillery has to chime in. And I was backing up, and the KV-2 kind of got in the way. Uh, I generally move around a lot after I've been hit uh, with, a, with an artillery and right there that KV-2 just ammo racks the crap out of that AMX. Pretty much just one shot at him. Uh, now as I was saying usually once artillery finds me they'll stay on me forever. It just seems like that. Now this VK-30 pops out, takes a shot at the KV-2 so I took a big chunk out of him and nearly took half of his uh, his health right there. Now, I know the KV-2 is probably still reloading, so uh, I was kind of watching that corner for him. Now, this P-43 backed up in a heck of a hurry, and I wasn't sure what had spooked him. There's an OI over there, and as soon as that KV-2 maneuvers, uh, he gets pelted, and I wanted to finish off that uh, VK-30, but he backed up faster than I could get my reload. And I was debating about pulling forward and seeing if I could get uh, that VK-30. Then I noticed a couple things. Is one, there's a BDR right behind us. And then there was also a, a light tank that had gotten behind us. Now that VK-30 popped out and shot me in the butt. I'm not going to lie, that made me kind of pissed. So I pull out and finish that BDR. And there's a T-34-85 somewhere that took a pot shot at me. And uh, it... All it did was damage my treads. And this Panther is being pretty uh, aggressive. We ended up grinding treads, but uh, I just went ahead and decided to let him go. But I also noticed that there is a OI kind of coming up behind us. And he was making me a little nervous, and sure enough, he pops around the corner, and I knew he was going to try to shoot me in the rear. Well, as soon as I turn around to uh, to uh, to deal with him, that damn VK-30 pops out, takes another shot at me or the KV-2, and misses. 
Uh, in the meantime, the KV-2 uh, finished off that OI. So I turn around and put it back in game camera, and I'm, I want this guy to be dumb and pop out. Well, this Chi New is the one that pops out instead. I got a big chunk out of him. VK-30 pops out, takes another shot at me, and does substantial damage. And I know I, I was hoping he could get my get a reload before he uh, before I backed out of the way. But I want this I want this VK30, and unfortunately, right there, that was our KV2 dying. And the VK30 heavy pulls out, and uh, let me put it over here. Uh, I was going to try to finish off that VK30, but he got it, so I'm I'm not disappointed. Now at this point, I'm only sitting at 849 damage. Uh, total. So I decided I'm, I wanted to pull out, but I wasn't too sure where that T3485 was. I was almost certain he was sitting on top of this cliff, and there's a hidey hole right there, and I took a pot shot at it and hit nothing but rocks. But, you know, I noticed we're starting to run out of enemies to shoot, and I, I'm just didn't feel like I was quite done yet, so I start pulling out. And just as I round this corner, this T-37 pulls out. Does way more damage to me than I think a T-37 should be able to uh, from the front. And he starts taking shots. I pull out. Uh, I think their artillery took a shot at me. He gets me again, but I took, like, uh, you know, uh, another third times the damage that he's inflicted on me. I start pulling forward and I realize that he is now running for it. And I thought he was going to go over there, but instead he goes around a rock back here. Starts tangling with our M4, who unfortunately gets destroyed. He makes it around that rock and I thought he was gone. I thought he wasn't coming back, but instead he pulls around again. And I finished him right there. So that's two kills and now I'm over 1200 points of damage. So now that's uh, all that's left is two artillery and the T-34 that I know is uh, just lurking somewhere, waiting to take a shot at somebody. Now you see the uh, the T-52. Yeah, keep an eye on him. The VK-30 is pulling out there, and he's hurt pretty badly. Well, sure enough, the T-52 hits the uh, spots their artillery and uh, starts moving in for the kill, but unfortunately he gets uh, ammo racked right there. Now the M12 uh, artillery starts to make a run for it, and the VK-30 is chasing him around that end. So I turned, and I thought, okay, we'll catch, catch him in a pincer movement. And I was worried about him lurking because I lost sight of him. But as soon as I hit this point right here at the, this corner, uh, he pretty much just pulls out in front of me. But he does notice me, and unfortunately, I didn't finish him with a single shot. And he manages to shotgun me. He manages to shotgun me, but only for 39 points of damage. I thought for sure he'd finished me, but uh, I got him instead. So right there, I'm sitting on three kills and uh, a little over 1,500 points of damage now. So the artillery and the T-34, uh, I saw my teammate checked that corner, didn't find anything, so I knew for sure they had to be over here somewhere. Now I was going to round that corner, because I know artillery likes to hide there, and just as I got close to this little cliff right here, I start pulling up, and sure enough, that artillery pulls up, and this is the guy who was shooting at me earlier, so I kind of wanted to get him back, and so I turn around and I start moving forward, a T-34 also pops up, and as I just as I start to climb this hill, our artillery drops around on that dude and finishes him. So now all that's left is the T-34. He's partially uh, damaged, uh, even more so now. And I was thought I could drill through this building uh, to get at him, and then I realized that I cannot. But he starts aggressively moving forward, and I was a little worried because I'm pretty damaged. Well. As it turns out, I got him with one shot with an ammo rack, and that was the end of the match for four kills. A lot of fun. All right, uh, that was an actually a, uh, a pretty tense match for me. 
Um, just everybody was shooting at me, but that tiger just soaked it up like a sponge and just kept on going. I got the four kills. I got the BDR, and, uh, and no offense to you BDR drivers, but these things, the uh, armor's not great on them. They're kind of paper mache. Uh, he was actually pretty well damaged by the time I got to him, though. And the peskiest tank of the match which goes to this T-37 who dinged me a couple times. I got him uh, twice, and my second shot, of course, killed him. He actually ran away, did this big loop around some rocks out there, and just came right back into view, and I finished him with that. So... Uh, and then came the M12, which shotgunned me, and I thought for sure he had destroyed me, but the explosion, the smoke cleared, and I was barely took any damage, and I turned him inside out for shooting at me. And then, uh, of course, the uh, the one that made me the most nervous was this T3485, and uh, that is a tough Soviet tank, but... I did hit him uh, with a single shot and ammo racked him. So I'm not displeased with that. He did actually bounce a couple uh, rounds off me, which I thought was amazing. So anyway, that was all my kills. I did just under well, 1,845 points of damage. I got 59,157 credits. Eight, I got uh, 8,084 experience points, which bumped a couple of my guys up to their next skill. So I'm going to be giving the, them those in a minute. I got my bruiser. I got my hand of God from having received damage from at least four different vehicles. And like I said, everybody was shooting at me. Uh, I got, uh, well, it happens when you're a heavy tank. And then I destroyed at least uh, two heavy tanks, that, or two tanks that damaged mine. So I got my, uh, my duelist. I got my fighter, I got my fire for effect, and of course my demolition expert for ammo racking the T-3485, and my mastery badge first class. And if I go look at the team score, I was not top damage. That went to the KV-2, who uh, I will have to say was pretty ballsy. The KV-2 is a tough tank to play because it is slow and it has a slow reload time. So I always play it as sort of a mid-range tank where I can get cover and then pull way back if I need to and uh, uh, re well, I get my reload because, yeah, this thing, the armor on this is not great. So he was pretty ballsy. And then uh, there was this VK-30 that went with me. He went to, with me with 2% of his durability left, so that was pretty awesome. And he got his Spartan badge for uh, you know just taking it like a champ, so to speak. So uh, I, sh I fired 12 shots, and I can't believe I only fired that many. I had nine hits with penetrations, and I already told you what my damage was. And then after uh, repair and resupply, I still got a nice chunk of change. So that was a fun match. Like I said, got a little tense there toward the end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, please remember to hit that like button, drop me a comment, and subscribe to my channel if uh, you have not already done so. And uh, this is probably going to be the first video I post for the New Year. So if you're watching this now, Happy New Year. And I wish you uh, both fortune and good health for the coming year. I'll talk to you later.